China's high housing prices have many people wondering if the market is headed for a hard landing or even a crash. But a crash is unlikely to happen thanks to government policies that will ultimately keep rising prices in check. That's according to panelists at a China business conference at New York's Columbia University. The April 5th conference, sponsored by the Columbia Business School and its Greater China Society Student Club, focused on various industries' prospects for doing business with China amid the government's stated aim of doubling both the size of the national economy and average income per capita by 2020. Yo Gua Liang, former managing director of Prudential Real Estate Investors, told a panel that despite 10 straight months of price increases in major cities, the Chinese housing market is unlikely to crash. China, he says, is still in a growth cycle and has room to grow even more. Is there a bubble and is a crash coming in China? In the, in the bubble is something you don't know until it bursts. That's right, yeah, you said that. So there are four is that we can only define a bubble when it bursts. But while the Chinese real estate market is highly cyclical, but in all likelihood, it's not going to experience the kind of bubbles we saw in Japan in the 1990s. Liang adds that a crash is unlikely because China's gross domestic product is still very low, not only for a developing country, but even for a developed country. Moreover, he says, the country's moves in recent years to build up its infrastructure and its centralized system of government give it the power to effectively manage the market's ups and downs. China also invests very heavily in the infrastructure, and very heavily in human capital, like expand the ed access to education, particularly higher education, trem tremendously. Mm -hmm. and, and, and China also has lots of policy levers it can play. In an effort to rein in high housing prices, China has reduced bank loans, raised mortgage interest rates for people buying second homes, and instituted a capital gains tax on property purchases. All these moves win praise from Liang. The analyst urged China to use its tax system to keep residential units occupied and prevent speculation that can create a housing market bubble. And if you ask me personally, if yes. I were to pick out one policy lever yes. to quote-unquote correct the Chinese real estate market, I would place a tax on unoccupied residential units. Whether it's first unit, second unit, third unit, doesn't matter. If it's not occupied physically, hmm. you place a tax on You can rent the property, it's fine. But you have that people living in that unit. Michael Barris, China Daily, New York.